So here I have a prototype thermoelectric cooling module, which I've been working on for the past year or so. And today I want to see how long it takes to freeze water in this metal tin using a USB-C power supply, which I'm going to try and power with this 210 watt uh, power bank that I just reviewed. So I'll begin by applying a small bit of this uh, Arctic Silver MX4 thermal paste right in the middle of the copper. And then using my finger, I'm going to try and spread it out evenly into a circle. Now I'm going to put the metal tin, which I've degreased the bottom of, right on top. Okay, nice. Now comes the power supply. It's a 100 watt uh, power supply powered by USB-C. So I'm going to use this um, power bank, this uh, Chuk Tech power bank that they sent, that I just reviewed, to try and power it and see if it'll power this thing on the go. Connecting the negative and the positive. Powering it on in three, two, one. I don't know how loud this fan is, but I'm going to let it keep running until it gets quite cold. Um, taking a look at the screen on here, it is the uh, power supply is giving 34 watts. Okay, so it's been just over two minutes and we already have some frost forming on the uh, plate here. So let's go ahead and add some water. Okay, let's add a little bit. Actually, let's add a tiny bit more. There we go. And let's reset the timer on here. So we should be seeing the time on there. Okay, so exactly five minutes later, um, it still has not frozen, but keeping in mind there are some pretty bright lights overhead and the um, airflow here isn't the best. Ideally, I would be holding this up or have it on top of some kind of a stand or something. Not to mention that I have over two ounces of copper on here, uh, more like three, including the one underneath. Fast forward an hour later and it wasn't working because I think this uh, metal tin is way too thin of a uh, metal. So let's go ahead and just put the water on the bare metal and spread it around. And this should work because it's not the fault of the module here. It was the uh, metal tin being way too thin of a metal. Okay, so exactly 12 minutes in and we have ice forming on the sides. And exactly 22 minutes and 20 seconds later, we now have solid clear ice. Adding a tiny bit more water on top. And five minutes and 45 seconds later, that has frozen as well. Let's go ahead and turn off the device and wait for it to warm up a bit and take off our sheet of clear ice. And here we go. Nice.